Hello hackers and welcome to the hive. This video walkthrough is going to cover how the authors dropper managed to inject a malicious payload into a remote process by using a custom implementation of process hollowing and process double ganging, and how it also managed to evade antivirus hooks over the important APIs that it used to perform its injection. So with these points in mind, let's start by opening the sample in a debugger and I'm going to have process hacker opened. So what the sample will start by doing is to load an additional copy of NTDEL. Before seeing this, let's check out the memory map real quick. We see here that we are executing from this copy of NTDEL. This is the shared copy that the Windows loader loads into all executables process memory. And it has the mapping type of image. So let's jump to user code and set up breakpoints over NTCreate file nt create section and nt map view of section because the sample will start by opening the nt del binary as a file and then create a section off of this file that it will later map it into its own process memory so let's hit run and immediately we had a call to nt map view of section over 9c so let's view the handles and 9c is crypt 32 to del this is not what we need so i'm going to continue running and we had a call to NT create file. So letting this execute, we see the sample opens NTDEL as a file and right away a call to NT create section over the handle of this NTDEL file. So letting this execute, we see the call to NT map view of section. So the sample will map the section containing the NTDEL binary into its own process memory. So from here, I'm going to continue by stepping over and returning to user code and Let's check the memory map again. Scrolling up, we see here additional copy of NTDEL that's been recently mapped with the mapping type of image. Again, the same mapping type of the original NTDEL that's been loaded by the official APIs. So let's check the samples of the additional NTDEL that's been loaded. And I'm going to set up breakpoints over the APIs responsible for process double gain. And in this case, NT create transaction and also NT-Write file, NT-Write virtual memory. All right, let's jump back to your code. And I'm going to continue by stepping over and walking through the user code of the dropper. And eventually we're going to hit the breakpoints that we've just set. So at first we see a call to ZW close over the file and the section containing nt because the sample have already mapped it into its own process memory. Moving on, we see this function that takes the address to the additional copy of NTDEL. So step into it, this function. We see it resolves, looks like it resolves the APIs it needs from this additional DEL. We saw NTWrite file and NTWrite virtual memory, NTAllocate virtual memory, ZW read virtual memory. So yes, we have already set up the breakpoints that we need from this additional DEL. So let's step out of this function and return and step in this function we see it constructs the pass to svc host and where manager.exe so letting this execute and moving on we find a call to nt allocate virtual memory so the dropper will allocate a region of memory inside its own process memory so let's follow this in dump we should get a pointer here let's follow this pointer and dump and continuing on Looks like the sample will write the default pass to where manager.exe. So this function will append the pass to where manager.exe to winder, which is the Windows directory. So stepping out of this function and continue executing, right away we had a call to create process internal W, giving it the full pass to where manager.exe. So stepping over this, we see where manager been spawned as suspended and right away we had a call to nt create section over e4 which is app help that build that's not what we need so let's run we see a call to nt create file letting this execute the sample will open where manager as a file it's interesting it's been opened twice but anyway let's hit run and let's continue executing 
we get a call to zw query information process over 9c which is the handle to this remote process let's close this and we open it again to for process hacker to recognize the spawn process and we hit this function stepping in and this takes the full pass to where manager that it's e so i'm going to step in and i will walk by stepping into all of the user code functions to see exactly what the dropper is doing so right now we see again it constructs the pass to where manager that it's e it seems to be the same routine and we had a call to anti allocate virtual memory again given this pointer following this in dump you should guess that the pass to war manager is going to be written here again and yeah let's hit the return and continue executing a call to nt create file by stepping over again the sample opens war manager that you see it seems to be doing this a couple of times but anyway let's continue we had a call to nt create section And this time the sample will map the section containing wormanager.exe into its own process memory. So stepping over this, a couple of calls to zw close over the file and the section. Let's hit the return and we get to this function that takes 9c which is the handle to the remote process. So I'm going to step into this function and step into here. We see a call to zw query virtual memory over 9c so we can pretty much guess that the sample will try to figure out offsets of the legitimate word manager binary by querying over its different memory blocks so what's the dropper is interested in is this block of memory so i'm going to set up a breakpoint here and heading run seeing the sample querying over the different memory blocks and we should stop right after this region of memory EAD and from here I'm going to step over and hit the return and continuing on we hit this function stepping in and we see what seems to be that the dropper will construct a pass to a file with libert.bnb letting this execute again I'll call to anti allocate virtual memory this is the same routine that writes the pass to whatever it constructs. So this will append libre.bnb to the temp directory. Should follow this and dump. This is the temp directory and stepping over we see the full pass to the libre.bnb. So let's hit the return and continue executing. Again a function that takes the full pass to libre.bnb. I'm going to step into this function and we see a call to NT create transaction. So right at this moment, the sample will create a transaction inside its process memory with full control. So let's step over this function, hit the return. We see here a TMTX object been created. So let's continue. We see a call to RTL set current transaction, continue executing. A call to NT create file heading the return so we have a file with the pass to a libert.bnb inside the temp directory let's check out the temp directory and look for a libert.bnb we won't find any libert.bnb inside the temp directory that's because the sample decided to use lower level apis such as rtl set current transaction and nt create file to create this invisible file that this libre.bnb doesn't really exist on disk it exists inside this tmtx transaction so this is actually a file transacted object but the sample decided to use lower level calls such as rtl set current transaction instead of a direct call to create file transacted w anyway let's continue executing from here again a call to rtl set current transaction heading the return we hit this function again it takes the full pass to the libre.bnb with this pointer let's follow this in dump and we have an executable here so we can pretty much guess that this is the malicious payload that's going to be written inside the libre.bnb 
which I guess was encrypted or something inside the binary. But anyway, I'm going to step in this function and stepping in, right, that's not interesting. We had a call to NT write file. So again, using RTL set current transaction along with NT write file, the sample will write the payload that we've just seen here into the labor.bnb given it be handled to the file transacted. So letting this execute, we see a call to NT create section with the handle to the labor.bnb file. So stepping over this, now we have a section in memory containing the malicious payload that's been written into this invisible pass. So this malicious payload doesn't exist on disk, it exists in a section in memory inside this authorized process memory. So let's continue, we had a call to ZW rollback transaction over 98, which is the handle to the TMTX object. So now all of the changes that's been written inside this TMTX object, which is in fact this file transacted object will be rolled back so none of the changes none of the payload that's been written here will touch the disk unless the sample will commit the changes and that's not really the case here because the sample called zw rollback transaction obviously to achieve a fileless injection so let's step over and move on we had a call to anti query section moving on a call to zw close over a0 the file of libre.bnb and the tmtx object let's hit the return and we hit empty map view of section so the dropper will map a4 which is the section containing the malicious payload into 9c the remote process so letting this execute and move on Stepping in this function seems to be data is going to be moved into EDI. Let's follow this and step over. We see here these, I guess, five or four bytes have been written. Anyway, let's hit the return and continue executing a call to ZW protect virtual memory over 9C at this offset which I guess is an offset inside the where manager memory. So let's step over and we hit a call to anti write virtual memory over 9C again at this location here, which is inside the where manager.exe. So let's view the bytes to be written. We can see E9 and four bytes that looks like the maybe the starting thread of the malicious payload. But let's check out the, the offset at the where manager.exe. I'm going to refresh because the, I guess the process hacker only gives me a snapshot of the memory blocks at the time I open or view the memory of, this, of the process. And we need to look for EA2AFF, so in here. And we should expect these five bytes to be overwritten with a jump and this offset. So stepping over, letting this execute and let's reread. Right away we see the jump with this memory location here and let's continue. And a call to anti write virtual memory, but this time the dropper seems to be setting up the BEP of the remote process. So we can pretty much guess that the malicious payload have already been written inside the where manager.exe and this seems to be an entry point redirection. So letting this execute right away we had a call to ZW resume thread over 9C which is the starting thread of the where manager.exe. So right now by resuming the thread the PEP of where manager will redirect to the malicious payloads entry point so at this point we're sure that we have got a trojan to where manager that is e 
And although that the Osiris Dropper didn't really use the typical implementation of process double ganging, where the sample would start by opening the target binary as a file transacted object and writing the malicious payload into it as a transacted operation, and by creating a section off of the changes that's been written into the target binary, a call to int create process x given it the handle to the section containing the malicious payload slash trojan to create a process that looks like a legitimate process but it's in fact a malicious process and I know that I didn't really care about dumping the malicious payload and everything but for this you can check out the theory part when I've unpacked the next stage loader but with all the screenshots and everything I saw that I would make a separate video discussing how the Osiris dropper perform its injection I also wanted to point out that this is a practical example that is part of a series that I have started to discuss the various process injection technique that's used by malware in the wild so i'm going to link both of the blogs in the description below and yeah so i hope this was informative for you and see you in the next walkthrough